all right guys Bob here again and um, in this video I just wanted to uh, basically talk to you about the uh, the Nokia phone that I've been using for a couple of weeks now now it's the uh, the Lumia 930 um, I got the orange one uh, I believe you all if you saw the unboxing then you'll already know that and um, yeah I just wanted to sort of like let you know what my experiences were for the uh, the past two weeks while I've been using it and um, I have to say it's um, my viewpoint doesn't really change um, when I compare it to the other uh, Nokia's that I've been using because uh, obviously you know that I've also had the uh, was it the 1020 and the 1520 yeah um, and obviously it was the the big one the 1520 that sort of like encouraged me to um, to get the iPhone 6 plus uh, rather than the, just stand, the standard 6 when that came out and that was purely because I enjoyed that screen size um, <clears throat> but obviously the downside is putting it in your pocket of course and this one of course sits uh, sort of a much more sort of manageable size really um, the size is nice build quality on this is really fantastic the uh, the screens I do like They're, they've got a lovely really nice smooth uh, I mean I know they're a little bit plasticky but they do have a very nice sort of um, smooth glassy quality about them um, and that you know they've got that very slight bevel to the edge that follows around into the metal work there which is very nice um, the metal frame is absolutely fine I mean it's you know like I say the build quality is absolutely brilliant on these um, something I mean at first I was a bit iffy about this plastic back you know I will say that um, it's not removable which I thought it was initially I thought it was um, something that you could remove take the battery out stuff like that but you can't but I dare say if it, in the event that you dropped it and cracked that I dare say it'd be quite a, a relatively cheap um, part to replace which obviously is a big boon over a lot of these all metal phones like the uh, the iPhone and what have you um, you know double tap on the uh, screen and you get your uh, lock screen um, mine's customized at the moment um, allowing go like my um, social media feeds to come through things like that so Facebook Twitter stuff like that and um, Instagram still in a beta um, still says it's got 12 notifications on there I don't know if you can see that where's it gone there it is still says 12 notifications on there you'll see um, sometimes you'll go into it and as soon as they appear on the little heart logo at the top if, if the notifications drop down and appear then when you close the app they'll be gone um, so it does work like that um, but a lot of the time it just doesn't come up so you know you, you're stuck with those notifications basically um, now camera it's uh, I mean that's probably one of the, uh, the great things about this phone really is the camera application um, it does give during light times as you can see there it gives a good quality uh, photograph and obviously you uh, tap to uh, focus and what have you and then you hit the button there and that snaps the photograph so that's your photograph done basically um, obviously there's all the manual settings and what have you which are very good if you can take the time to go into that you will get far superior quality photographs um, video the video quality is very good um, audio not so good audio um, gets very easily affected by wind um, external sounds and things like that unless like when uh, when I've been vlogging in the car and it's uh, up against the uh, the window of the car the glass is obviously reflecting the noise around and then it picks up better in uh, that sort of situation um, Cortana really do like that actually um, basically I mean obviously it's like um, it's uh, you know it's pretty much the same as Siri. I think what I think the bit that's really clever that I actually like watching is when you say something to it, you can um, you can actually see. I'm guessing like um, a sort of computer-generated algorithm of your voice coming through, um, 
and you just see all the letters sort of like scrambling and then uh, suddenly forming into the words that you've said in the bottom. I'm just going to see if it'll actually work while on camera actually. So let me just, uh, if I just... What's the weather like today? And you just saw... <coughs> so obviously it comes up, it, it, it... And there it was telling me what the, uh, the vo what the, uh, the, um, sorry. There it was telling me what the temperature was. So it's, I mean, it's still in a beta form, but um, obviously you can, you can customize it with all your interests. Um, you can add it to uh, reminders. You can tell it to do things. You can, you can set a reminder with it. You can say um, that, uh, let's say you were wanting to email somebody. Um, so you could tell it uh, that you want to uh, send an email at a set time it will record that and then you can tap here and you could tap that you were uh, wanted to uh, remind you to do that at a set time so you know it's got the notebook music search all that sort of thing and it, it's, it's a nice thing to have um, not something I use much I don't even particularly use Siri much to be honest um, Siri comes in if you've got it plugged in on your desk and rather than pick your phone up you can be lazy and just say hey Siri although I have that found that to be a little bit on the dodgy side anyway. Um, <clears throat> obviously people that integrates fully across all of your uh, feeds, your SIM card, you know, your, all your contacts, everything, so everything's in people basically. Um, Internet Explorer works well with certain sites, other sites, but I mean that's the same with any sort of uh, thing really. Um, the main thing really, I mean I've, gaming, Gaming's great on it. Uh, I've been playing that, uh, what's it called, uh, Beach Beach Buggy Racer? Yeah, Beach Buggy Racer. Um, I've not noticed any lag. Um, like I say, like I've said with all of the, uh, the Windows phones, they noticeably get uh, hot, obviously around the area where the processors are, which seems to have been moved in this phone. Um, there were, it was this area that always got hot, whether it was videos you were doing, or, um, or whether you were even, um, I don't know, watching videos, making videos, uh, using uh, processor heavy uh, applications like gaming of course, especially faster games, um, and it was always that area. Now on this particular phone, it's more sort of that area. The heat starts to build up low down here, and then slowly moves up obviously as the heat dissipates through the unit. This one gets notably warmer than the other two that I used. And uh, as I've said in one of my vlogs, it would make a very good winter hand warmer, play a few games, and then just hold it between your hands. It doesn't concern me. Um, at the end of the day, processors get hot. It's what, you know, it's what they do. You know, with a phone, you can't stick a fan in it. With a desktop or a laptop, they have fans in to help cool it down. You know, every, every device gets hot. Um, other than that, there's not a lot more I can say. The App Store is slowly getting better. Um, the operating system, it's not crashed on me. I've not had any bugs with it. And I think it's great. You know, uh, you've got this um, Lumia Beamer thing now, which is basically a bit like, um, a bit like Apple TV. Obviously, you can uh, share it. You can share the screen to a nearby device. Um, or you can share remotely. Um, so you can send a link by email, SMS, social media, things like that, and then people can see what's on your screen. Um, so it's got some nice touches there. Um, it's nothing new, it can be done with other devices as well. It's just nice that they've put it in on this device. So um, yeah, I mean that's pretty much all I can say about it guys. Um, would I get one? Right now, no, because I've got the money there. <laughs> Uh, of all of the Nokia's I've trialled so far, I'm thinking that if the money was there next year, um, then I would probably buy one of these uh, as a second device that I would use mainly for work. Um, purely because the main, um, the main operating system of choice in the UK is Windows purely because it integrates better with the likes of Sage which of course is a software used for your bookkeeping and things like that. So 
you know, that's, that's what sort of really ties the UK business world into the Windows sort of platform. Uh, you know, everybody's got it and yes, it can be ran across to Mac, but it's pretty cost prohibitive and getting everybody to do it pretty much all at once is going to be a no-no, isn't it? You know, and you've got to think at the end of the day, you're sending files to your customers who they have Windows machines. So, you know, um, I would definitely get one of these and get a OneDrive account. Um, I'd get a bigger OneDrive account, uh, definitely uh, increase the storage size on that instead of, uh, I mean, I've just got the free option right now. Um, it can sometimes be faster and it will also automatically upload uh, video images and we have to take, in my line of work, a fair few photographs uh, before and after work being carried out as proof of the work being carried out basically and I suppose if we had a OneDrive account linked back up at the office here because obviously I can be sometimes at the other end of the country um, and you know then those files would be uploaded automatically as soon as I had a Wi-Fi connection or a good 4G maybe and um, it would be then uploaded to the, uh, the, the OneDrive account and they could be looked at back here pretty much straight away. So from that point of view, um, and it, it's, it's just so much easier than trying to use the Apple system because you haven't got a Mac here and the likes. Yes, you can check iPhoto on a Windows, but it's, it just doesn't work as quickly as Mac does. So from that point of view, then yeah, I would definitely consider buying one of these um, and possibly will do next year. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you've got any questions, anything you want to add, um, leave it all in the comments down below. So yeah, um, let me know what you think guys and I will catch you all in the next video. Okay, cheers guys, see ya.